Hi, welcome to Selenium uh, testing tutorials. In this uh, video, I am going to explain how to install Jenkins in Windows. In my previous video, I have given Jenkins uh, introduction. You can uh, go through once uh, for uh, as a beginner, you can go through once. Okay, let's say uh, I have downloaded Jenkins 2.22 version, so which is zip file. And after uh, extracting here, I have received Jenkins, this one, see. See, only one, only Jenkins, yeah, this one only. Okay, now right click and uh, install. It will uh, take you to the install steps. See, welcome to Jenkins 2.0 setup widget. So, latest version is 2.74. You can uh, try this one uh, as well as that one only. Okay, next uh, click on next. Uh, say I am using a C program file Jenkins. Uh, next uh, click on install. It will uh, install every component in that folder. So let's see, see how it is installing. So let's say Jenkins uh, Java Jenkins. Say it is installing JRE. Okay, var file. So Jenkins exe file, wrapper, var file, GRE, icons, so notes, plugins, see everything you will get plugins, plugins you know to install. So it's a install, see, it's a banner exit setup wizard. So it is opening local host, it is right login, it is asking, getting ready to work. Jenkins is ready, see. We have downloaded this one zip file. See, to ensure Jenkins securely set up by the admirable password has been written in the log. Not sure where, where to find. Okay. Instead, admin password. Admin password we need to enter. See, in this folder, it is generated. See. Here I have created Jenkins now. Okay, Jenkins and uh, secrets. Wait, wait, wait. Again, uh, Jenkins and secrets. See here what it is saying. Initial admin password. Okay, it is generated, right? Initial admin password. Initial admin password. Open with notepad. See, this is the password. It is generated. Just copy. Just paste here. You can continue. Never it is loading. See. Plugin extended Jenkins. Additional features to support many different needs. Okay, this this one like this you can install Jenkins in Windows. So next lesson we will see which plugins we need to install for Selenium or any other tool. 